So guys, uh, I'm going to show you what happens when it's raining in Las Vegas. This happens. Imagine how bad it is for the poor guys that live in the tunnels uh, in Las Vegas. Jesus Christ. Thank God I was smart enough to park at the employee parking place from the link. <laughs> you hear that sound? That's the sound of excitement. <laughs> I didn't tell you, so I'm on the way to the gym. Yes, I'm going to the gym. The last week was really bad for my challenge. So today I have to run it off. And I'm going to the gym at the Harris. Yeah, that's right. It looks untouchable for me right now. I wish I can go and eat something instead of going and losing some weight. is done so now I'm walking uh, to the car and then I'm going to play at the Luxo a little bit Okay, it is three o'clock in the morning and we are leaving the building. It was not that bad. I made 515 profit. The game was not that bad. A lot of money on the table. But it's time to go home. It's late. Tomorrow, tomorrow is another day. Good night. Good night. Done in the gym. So I think I'm gonna just stay here in the middle of the strip and walk to all these places. I'm at the Harris right now because I hit the gym here. But it looks like, oh, we have a new store over here. Store's name is Karma and Luck. <laughs> hey, coffee drinker, I know you don't believe in that stuff, but I do. I do big time. 
<laughs> so like I said, uh, looks like I'm gonna stay here on the strip and play here a little bit. Let's find out if they have again here at the horrors and it's not um, full of the regulars. That's priority. Not too many people that I know. Actually what I'm looking for is a poker room with good Wi-Fi and a really soft game that I just have to sit down and watch a movie on the internet and just do ABC poker. That would be the best. That's what I'm looking for. shift manager just uh, wanted me to play to jump in the 2-3 game but everybody who's sitting on that table I know it's the same thing like they go uh, and go to the uh, Caesars to making their, uh, their double tier credits because when you play 2-3 at the Harris you get double tier credits also so basically what they are doing is just sitting, sitting, sitting it out and get the hours in for the free roll and uh, get double tier credits. I might have a look over there later. <laughs> okay, friend of mine. All the grinders round and running here on the strip from, <laughs> from one poker room to the next, just checking out the games. I guess when he's coming out of the Mirage, where I'm walking to right now, I guess the game is not good. Because if it would be good, he would be sitting in there. Hey Drew, I know you like that stuff. <laughs> and I heard it's really, really good here. I never tried it, but I will. In seven weeks, not now. <laughs> I have no idea why my local friend, uh, so he, ha I'm pretty sure he was not in that poker room because they have two games, I don't know how the other game is, but in the game that I sit down, <laughs> look how I meet, hey, <laughs> all the time when you see, Cindy, when you see that red light, it's working. <laughs> We're on our quest for rewards where we can't play poker. We're trying to figure out how to get 25 tier credits without costing us a fortune. So, as you saw, I just get interrupted by some uh, friends of mine. Um, I'm gonna, I, I just told them something that uh, I did not told on the vlog yet, but I'm gonna do that later on, okay? It's gonna be in this vlog, but it's gonna be later. Anyway, I was talking about the table I'm also getting on. Um, I sit down and um, right in the first hand uh, somebody raised to $16. He got three callers and the flop is Jack, seven, five, two spades. So the pre-flop pre raiser checked. Um, another guy makes it 16. Um, two guys fold and the pre-flop raiser makes it 50. And then the other guy is thinking, 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 and the pre flop blazer said, uh, think about it, I raised before the flop. Okay, so the other guy goes, okay, you might have a good hand. So <laughs> he folds his hand, and the other guy turns around, Jack 10 offsuit. Yeah, Jack 10 offsuit is a raising hand before the flop when you're under the gun. That makes sense, yes. Especially when you flop a Jack. <laughs> There's another hand, uh, pretty funny. Um, Everybody folded and the button says, I have to raise, I have a hand. So he made it $10 and the big blind calls the $10 so they go have heads up to the flop. 
flop is ace queen queen and both checked the turn is a five no flush and they're both check the river is a ten so now the small blind bets all in remember it's 21 dollars in the pot and the, the and the big blind pulls all in for he had three queen chips and i don't know it, around 110 dollars he chips all in and the button says okay now i have to call the big blind shows jack king for the straight and the button shows pack tens for a full house uh, tens full of queens <laughs> So I, pr I feel pretty happy uh, sitting on that table and that's where I'm going right now back back to the table don't miss the action <laughs> yeah, of course we chop walking out of the mirage I played here six hours. Um, the game was not even that good on the end after the loose cannons were gone. But it was uh, a lot of fun on the table. There were people making jokes all the time. I put the average age on this table down to, I would say, 70 because everybody was just from the old guard so I was the youngest by far um, but one guy was uh, making jokes about how he wants to die and um, it was just it was just awesome that guy was 83 years old and he said he wants to die with a 22 year old sitting on his face <laughs> that is his last smile that he wants to give to the world <laughs> Not too bad. It was just a lot of fun. Oh, by the way, I lost uh, $185 in that session. But I had a lot of fun. So now it's time to pick up the boss. Here's my dinner. For all the poker players, the local poker players and the ones that are making vacation right now here in Las Vegas, uh, I wanted to tell you something. So there is a special game this Saturday at the Luxor. There's going to be a mixed game um, in the poker room and it's going to be several games that you normally don't play here in Las Vegas. It's going to be a 2-4 limit game. I know it's not it's not that good you normally don't make money in the 2-4 game but they take only two dollars in rake so that's a good thing so if you want to have some fun playing a mixed game uh, including hold'em omaha omaha high eight or better stud stud eight or better ras two to seven triple draw and badoogie that's the games that they offer in that game um yeah be there this saturday from 6 p.m open end uh, I already know that a lot of people want to come and play there, so maybe they're, they're gonna get two games or three games. And yes, I'm gonna be there too. <laughs> so if you wanna meet me, come over. Put on your hangover clothes because it's gonna be a drinking game. As I said, it's 2-4 limit, $2 max rate, what is really good. So if you ever wanted to play live these kinds of games, it's the best way to start to just try these games live and I know there are a lot of really nice people coming we're gonna have a lot of fun on the table see you there <laughs>